for me, this has been absolutely one of the best decisions I've made in my life so far. The investment that you have put in me uh, was more than I could ever dream about. But I cannot give you anything about my warmest recommendation and and that I'm so truly, um, now I'm getting emotional too, <laughs> <laughs> but I am so truly, truly happy that I found you. Um, Every single day. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say to everybody watching this as well, like I'm so grateful that you have chosen to speak English with me today, even though we are both Swedish. <laughs> no problems. I'll do whatever language you want. <laughs> so for me, like this has been kind of my favorite day. Like this morning, a client called me. Um, and she announced that she just figured out today that she's pregnant after our work together. And she has been dealing with infertility for, uh, for three years. And now I get a chance to talk to you and hearing about your results. So it's like, I'm just so excited today. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back. So now it's all rebouncing. That's awesome. Good yeah, for her. Good job. That's, uh, that's great news. Yeah, and you also have some really, really, really great news, right? Because you texted yeah. me like, bef yeah, some days ago, and you shared something really awesome. Can can you share about that? Absolutely. So I've been uh, my long, long lived dream is to be on stage and to be uh, a TV host is my my absolutely dream job and my main goal. And uh, this week, I set like one of the first steps into that world with getting a job as a like like a conference here for a, a major event for a company so uh, it's nothing that will be broadcasted for you to see otherwise i would have shared it but it's uh, so it's my first gig as a, a conferencier in a setup like a tv studio so this is going to be absolutely fantastic to start 2021 uh, with that job yeah for it's sure. uh, it's huge i cannot even uh, express that because uh, it's uh, it's such a huge milestone and uh, mm -hmm. yeah to just see my name there with the title conferencier it's uh, it's uh, such a great thing <laughs> yeah and what what would you say have been like the biggest shift for you what, what 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 do you feel that you have been doing now differently because you have been have you been applying to these kind of jobs before or what has been kind of your journey like this was your dream but what has been your yeah. journey i have i have applied and i have done uh, a few similar things but not as big as this but i think that there's i have come in with another type of confidence and another type of like calmness and another type of belief in myself i have i have always believed in myself in some ways but not perhaps like to full extent mm -hmm. but also that this opportunity more or less just uh landed in my lap i got questioned about this i was asked to do this um or to to at least like i thought about you maybe you should get in touch with this person so that was also really amazing that I didn't really per se have to work so hard for, for this job, even though I have done the surroundings uh, or the other things around mm -hmm. this. So, yeah. And that is so interesting. I'm glad that you are saying that because that's such a common thing that so many of us have been experiencing that we have to struggle. We have to work so, so, so hard for things to actually happen. And once we start to work with the subconscious belief system, like you've been doing, right? And you start to change that and you start to radiate like just different things and you're starting to send out like a totally brand new energy and your reality just start to change. Exactly. And it's, uh, yeah, this has been a, a very strange year in so many ways, of course, for all of us being on, on the earth, I would say, but uh, it's been very, very interesting for me and so many other like parts where I have met so many cool people. Uh, I have gotten the chance to be in situations which I've been longing to be in. So, and that of course has helped me to radiate something and, and to, to also, as we have talked a lot about, speak up my truth, uh, that I'm, I'm out there. I'm telling people what I want to do. I'm, I'm not afraid of sharing my dreams and my vision. And of course people will then also be happy to involve me as soon as they have a chance to it. So yeah. it's been uh, such an amazing year in that sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. And, yeah. and that is where we're going to place our focus to really see, okay, well, what is the magical things that I can really place my focus? And when you're, when you're talking about like speaking your truth, it just 
just gives me goosebumps all over my legs because that that's such a huge thing you know when we are speaking our truth and we are really just dis like discovering actually our truth because with all the fears and everything going on in the mind we have no idea what that truth really is um so that's just amazing so what would you say like would you be able to share a bit with all of us like what was the reason you found my work in the first beginning where were you at and what was you looking for help with yeah absolutely and this is uh yeah, sure. I just have to, to <laughs> rewind because it feels like I've known you forever, kind of. So I <laughs> just need to backtrack. But um, I have been always been like up and down with, with a feeling of frustration. And then I get like a dip where, where everything has been pitch black. And, and I go like, oh, this must be more to this. And this, I'm not meant to be here. Like my whole body is just screaming in my whole like mind, what are, what are you doing? And in one of those like uh, dips I had, I was searching on the internet for a coach. I was like, I need some guidance. I need some help. I need some coaching. Uh, and little did I know that I would end up with you, but your name came across like in a, in a forum on Facebook, I think. So I texted you, I gave you a PM and I was like, hi, this is, uh, I see that you're a coach. Can you please help me? And then you revealed the type of work you're doing, uh, which I was not really unfamiliar with, but it was not per se the specific thing I was looking for. So that was just a, a huge bonus, uh, which actually ended up being the right thing for me too. Um, so, so that was, the, to summarize this, my frustration led me to do something, to search for someone to help me. I looked and I found you and I reached out asking for your, for your help. And there you were <laughs> willing to take me on. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And I, I get tears in my eyes when you were saying that it was the frustration that actually led to, to this. Because for everybody who's going through like frustrations, it, it's where it starts. Like if we can see that that frustration, like it was for me, and that's why it's so emotional. Because, you know, that pain and that frustration and it's that feeling like it must be more. And when we yeah. can trust that little feeling, however big, small it is, but like you did, you trusted it. I trusted it when I went through it. And it, it was just, your, it was your breakthrough. Like it, it helped you to search and then you found something. We started to work together and you have done such an amazing, amazing work. And it's cool that you're saying that it feels like you have known me forever. Likewise, I feel the same with you. Uh, and it's interesting because it was only like what was it eight months ago since since we yeah, first got like in touch yeah and those yeah. eight months feels like forever definitely definitely <laughs> and i'd like to add something to that because when we're talking about that i'm getting uh, tossed back to to those feelings and I get this huge sense of bitterness and a huge sense of frustration in regards to that people didn't understand me. Mm -hmm. And that bitterness was also like a trigger point for me because that's one of the worst feelings I know. So I was like, I, can, I am not supposed to be bitter. This is not aligned with myself. I'm not feeling this. So that was like more feelings, the frustration, the bitterness and, and like the sadness of not being understood. Yeah. Uh, just a little side add on because mm -hmm. I was... But that was an important, important side note, because do you remember um, our first conversation? Do you remember that you were sharing with me frustration, or like feelings of so much frustration? And do you remember what my facial expression was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a huge smile on my face because I, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know that feeling because I've been there and I've helped myself through the methods that I teach and I, I work with, I help myself out of that to the other side. And I feel like I'm living in the light now. And I share that with you, right? And what I did on the inside, what you don't know, I was like, well, good for you because I was so bitter because I was so stuck in things. So everything was just like, yeah, well, I'm still here. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have forgotten about these feelings that were so massive. Um, so it's interesting to just have a little, uh, like look in the rear mirror to see what was actually going on, which was in the spring, as you said. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it was not long ago. And this is why it's so 
magical when we when we tap into the things that really matters which are the subconscious belief system and all this that is going on in the background because some people may look at this and say like eight months that's nothing and yes true it is nothing it's so quick and you are sitting here now that light being and you're saying like i can hardly not even remember like it feels like you were so long ago because you have done such a dramatic shift yeah for sure and and i still which i'm also happy about that i still have a lot of work to do left but now it feels like the the bigger parts or the major parts has been done and now it's more like uh, I, i'm not sure if it's the right word but the fun part i mean it because i already got some fruit of the work i've done i could already pick the apples mm -hmm. so i can eat them and still work so i still get the energy yeah. and, and moving forward which is yeah. uh it just feels amazing and, and super exciting to uh, to keep on going yeah and of course as you were saying like some days it's it's going to feel like hard it's it's still like it can be a roller coaster um mm -hmm. but it's it's just a different kind of roller coaster and i think like when we remember that when we are doing when we are doing the work and we can always come back to yeah i okay it, it is a hard day today or i'm having hard feelings or whatever but you just know like i know how to actually help myself to move out of it and if i don't know i always know who i can contact and, exactly uh, and another another type of calmness like okay well this is just to see it for what it is it's nothing more than that just like okay this is this is what it is for now but that's not like it's not a a fixed situation it's a it's a moment it's a day or so on and so forth so that gives me another type of uh, calmness uh, in regards to those situations too mm. that's amazing so it's for hypnosis sessions we have done for you right yeah yeah and yeah. How, how would you say like how you, you already touched on this you said that that it used to be so much frustration before but how would you say what is the biggest shift that you see in your life from from these four sessions that we have done together I'm happier I have much easier to to burst out in laughter because I have another type of calmness uh, with the sessions about meeting my future self. That is just like the biggest major hug. So that has given me also like the, just the, the warmth from something that has made me calmer, um, calmer, happier, more confident, more relaxed there's many words that are the same but it's many different shifts in this feeling because they apply in so many different ways uh but yeah something like that mm. and that calmness just means so much it's it's the opposite of fear yeah and i i guess that most people are very very familiar with fear and these very hard emotions and what you're describing is just the other the other spectrum of, of that so could you go in a little bit more to what because you said that you felt the bitterness when we had our first conversation and you said oh good for you i didn't know this uh maybe i, I didn't say it too no. <laughs> <laughs> but what was it um despite that you ended up saying like okay i, I want to do the work with linda what was it that made you feel this because i believed in you like the first time i saw you i heard your story i knew that us working together i knew that you could go how like you can do anything i knew that about you but what made you feel that way well to be completely honest if you're in that if you're in that uh, situation i was like I'll, I'll try everything but i was also feeling that there's a reason that i met this lady um and i kind of instantly felt that that you were so sincere in what you were doing. I remember when you, you, before we would start working, you told me, I would like to send you a few questions because I want to be sure that this is something for you. And for me, that was like a very, very good point of, okay, she's so sincere in what she's doing. She really cares about me and the work I'm doing here. Uh, she's going to be by my side and, and put down her part of this. So I think that, 
from that moment when I answer the questions and I'm like, I just going to answer them from, from the top of my mind, from the first things I come up with. So I don't put any facade to this, send it as it is as naked as I can be, because I want it to be transparent with you. And you gave me feedback on that and said, those answers are making me sure that we can work together. Uh, and that was a huge, like, confidence in you uh, by being so open with this and being very, like, um, truth, truthful with me in how we work. Do you remember what kind of questions I asked you? I specifically remember yeah. one question. Do, do you remember? You asked me about children, if I wanted them so at some point. Um, what more did you ask? I don't know. That was the, that was the one I was thinking <laughs> of. And that was the one I, I was really um, wondering. I remember because yeah. I am so passionate about, you know, I believe that helping the women who will be mothers I mm. totally believe that that is how we together will make such a massive difference in this world. And that's why I, I wanted to know, like, are you a future mother? Because then I'm like so willing to put in the work to do everything I can do in my power um, to help you. Uh, so that together with the other answers that you gave me, it just gave me so much confidence so how would you say, because a lot of people who will be watching this will probably, um, they're probably found me because of the fertility work that I'm doing. Um, so how would you say, like, in order for you as a future mother, by doing this work on yourself, tuning into your own, like, purpose and all of this, how do you think that you will be a different mother than compared to if you had had children before you started to do this work. Yeah, this is, this is also very interesting that you're uh, mentioning this because I did not reach out to you with that in like my specific, that was not my, my aim of the game, uh, reaching out to you. But my instant answer to that question, if I would look into having children was, yeah, well, I want to be done with myself first. I need to make my own journey because my feeling in regards to this is if I still have things that are left undone within myself and without this calmness and this happiness, I don't think that I would be able to give my full attention and full focus to another human being that when that time comes that I would bring a child or two or more to the world, I want to be able to feel that I have put some parts of my journey aside that they are done. I've already walked the path up until that point. And it's a different path, a new path together with this new, new lives. But I would, I want to be done with those parts of myself. So the difference is that I will be able to give a completely different focus to, uh, to my future children, I would say, and not feel that I am, putting anything from myself aside that I'm not sacrificing anything that I'm being there for them because that's a, just a, a huge gift yeah. so instead of feeling sacrificed I would feel I got something I got a gift yeah. and that I can just give to that uh, yeah yeah and that is so beautiful with with this work and for all the uh, other future mamas as well that the, the work that they will be doing and to, to just heal like old things we all have had and still have some old traumas that are, that are painful. And just by healing those, we will be completely different kind of parents. And that is just so beautiful. So uh, thank you so much for sharing it. I have to look into my questions uh, so, yeah. I, <laughs> so that I know I can ask you everything I wanted to ask you. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you a question of price as well. Um, so sometimes I, I remember when, when I first found like hypnosis and this kind of work, I was like, oh, the prices are very high. And I've had cl uh, like clients before they became clients, they were telling me, oh, but the price is just so high. I don't know. Like, can, can I do like, can I do this and all of that? Did, did you have any feeling like that? Of course, <laughs> well, that was a weird answer maybe, yeah. Uh, yes, I did, but I, I, uh, of course I had to have a discussion with my partner about this too. And 
I had a lot of thoughts about this. I was going back and forth, back and forth because, because, because it is an investment. It's nothing that I would buy on sale and go like, uh huh, it's only this amount of money. It's okay if I, if I lose them. But my, my touch upon this, I, first of all, I thought about it. Then I went to my partner and asked, and he was like, well, that's, that's some money. I mean, maybe if you want to do that, it's up to you. And then I actually tapped into myself and I was like, okay, first of all, I would see this as an investment in myself. And what is the best thing I can do is to invest in myself. If this would not work for me, I would have at least have tried. Would that be worth the money to feel I, at least I've tried? Yes, it will. Third, I thought if this would work, then this price is super cheap. So then it's nothing because my happiness and my, my joy and me finding my place and my right place to be, there's no price tag for that. So then the answer was quite given that this is either something that I'm willing to invest in and to see and to say I tried or at least or otherwise I would just say that it was worth all the penny and that was the cheapest investment I've done in my life. So I thought about it thoroughly, I say, tell you, but the answer was quite given when I came to my own conclusion around it. Hmm. And you were very ready. He, like hearing how you were thinking and that thought process, like you, you were very, very ready. And, and that's also one of the reasons why I also always ask questions before I even take somebody onto a call, because I hmm. want to know, like I put in so much of me into every single person that I work with. So I want to know that it's the, like an equal commitment for, from both of us. And that's really what I've been feeling with you all the time. And you've been updating me like your journey and it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah. And looking in the, in the back mirror also with, with that, I mean, the investment that you have put in me uh, was more than I could ever dream about. I didn't know that we would have this type of contact and that we would do this check-ins and, and what we've been doing. And, and all this, you've been very, like on social media, so you have been very active where we can get help and inspiration, which has been a huge bonus. So that was not even taken in account when I was starting this journey. That has just been um, such a great gift on top of everything. Amazing. So if somebody's right now like sitting here watching this and they're like, shall I book that call? Shall I not? Shall I like... And they're just feeling that fear. Like, what if I just blew up my money? Or what if <laughs> Linda's a crazy person? I don't know what fears <laughs> people may have. But what would you say, like, if somebody is just feeling one pull to do something and have that chat and, yeah, they don't really know, what would you say? Yeah, it's, it's each and everyone's decision. But for me, this has been absolutely one of the best decisions I've made in my life so far. And I was actually thinking about that was like one or two months ago, that regardless of what, if this would be something or not in the, like, for example, I didn't know I would have this, this job with this uh, conferencier job. It's still worth it because I feel so much better after doing this. So my take on it is you have to dare to, you have to put yourself a little bit out there. And for me, I'm not living my life if I don't. And I can only give you the, the most positive and, and good reviews because you have been along the way. So you don't have to fear about that. You're not a crazy person. And of course, there's people you might be worried about scams and so on and so forth. And for that, I would also like to emphasize i'm not putting my face and name out here if that would be the case i'm very picky of what i'm recommending but i cannot give you anything about my warmest recommendation and and that i'm so truly um now i'm getting emotional too <laughs> <laughs> but i am so truly truly happy that i found you um because it had it has helped me tremendously and and people looking at this like oh look she's crying giving the recommendation but it's um yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been an honor um, so far. So do it. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. it's beautiful. No, it's really beautiful that you are showing emotion. And I feel that that is something very, very special as well. Like I have chosen, some people take on a lot of clients. 
for me personally, I've chosen to only work with a few people at a time because I want to be able to be that full support and be there all the time. And I believe that that's why <laughs> we can sit here now and cry together because the connection <laughs> is just growing very strong. And for me, with, with you, I know, I'm so certain that our relationship, our friendship that we have developed uh, throughout the work that we've been doing together, like you will keep on, like we will know each other when we are 80. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember like one thing, I think this will be the last question, but I remember you shared a thing with me that was very powerful. And you said when you had been able in hypnosis to meet your future self, and then when worries came, like in your daily life, and you could feel like your mind starting to worry, you said that that future self that you had kind of that you could kind of anchor towards that future self. Do you remember what you shared? Like that it made you feel more safe in the now. Yeah, exactly. And it's I mean, life is a, is a, it's a storm out there sometimes, and when you feel like things are not maybe going your way or you're getting obstacles and so on and so forth. But what has really helped me with this is to to just take a deep breath and to to visualize and to feel like I met my future self and this is okay. Like I I know I'm I'm going over there, and it what's happening right now here that's all woof. It doesn't really matter because I have, I have this, I'm going there. I know I'm getting there. Um, and this is just a, a bump in the road or this is just one, another thing that's meant to be for me to, to be able to be there. I think this is what you meant, Linda, yeah. with the question. Yeah. yeah. It's, been, it's been very nice to, it made me be able to, to like fall back a bit and to be like, I don't have to stress. I don't have to push. I don't have to be like uh, everywhere. It's just like, all right, let's take it easy. Let's do one thing at a time. I know I'm getting there. Uh, I know everything will be all right in the end and I will find my place and my, my happiness. So then it bad days and bad things can come. It's okay. They can swoosh past me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that confidence is just, it's just magical to have it. And I feel it so much for myself as well. That's why I'm so passionate about doing this future progression, like where we meet our future self, having the results that we want to have. Um, because I've made such a massive difference in myself since I have been on the infertility journey. And then over, like I started my ovulation and all of that with the power of my mind and then making the decision and the choice of not bringing in the children now, uh, since I'm on a different path in my life and just, doing the work I'm doing right now and that I have met my future children in hypno like I met them and that have just made me also able to calm down and just know like I will for sure know when I'm ready like I will know that just because I've met them and I would say that yeah that would just made such a massive impact on me and that's why I'm so passionate about letting letting you in this case and letting the other people who do this session to, to meet their future self because it just brings such a magical, peaceful feeling inside of us. Definitely. And it has also given me like when you, you can see the situations that you're ending up in, in another way, you can, you can tackle them with like another type of curiosity and go like, oh, I wonder how, how this came along my path now it's here so it's um instead of frustration you can look at it like with 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 curiosity instead yeah i would say yeah for sure yeah. is there anything else that you feel like you want to add yeah it is i was just <laughs> thinking i wonder if i can add something mm -hmm. um one thing that came across my mind was that i um when we were talking now is that I have a super high integrity and to be this open and naked towards a person is very scary. Uh, but I've made it very clear from the beginning, from the initial talk. And I decided towards myself that I need to be like completely undressed, not, not literally, but <laughs> I need to, to, to tell this person a lot about myself and my life and my fears and my dreams that I'm not sharing maybe with everyone or has been up until now. Um, and that is, I have felt 
full confidence with doing so with you. I have, you have tackled everything with such a great warmth and professional. Yeah, you've been so professional. Um, so I just wanted to say that too. That it's uh, thank you so much for meeting up with that because it's very scary to to just like this is me to a completely stranger uh, until you get to know that. So I also like to take the opportunity to thank you for that, Linda. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that that means a lot to me. Um, and that you, as you know, like that's the journey I've been on myself uh, mm -hmm. since since I. They grew up and just learned that it's always much better to lie a little bit just to kind of tweak the reality a little bit so that your life sounds better and I was always like that and when starting to understand more and more about me and understanding my own values which is actually honesty and openness um, so I've been living my my life just so much outside my own values and then just starting to show up as me doing that on Facebook lives and just being raw, you know, crying in front of everybody and the fears, you know, sharing this stuff about the future, this, the spirit babies and the, the fears I've had around my, my breasts that I was never happy with, like all of that. And I just shared it and it was so freaking scary, but I chose to do exactly what you told me just now. Like I made a decision to show up as who I am, because when we do, that's when we can connect with the most beautiful, beautiful people. And that's also when we start to understand that maybe I'm not that different after all. <laughs> maybe I'm not so crazy because there are other people out there that are just the same. So um, yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Very beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, and if that's also why why me and other people might be able to to actually uh, have the confidence and the courage to share this because you do that too. You're very open and and giving with the, with yourself and your fears. It's not uh, look at me. I'm so uh, professional. Everything. So you you show up as as you are and go like, sorry, this is a shit day, but let's let's uh, do this <laughs> because there's not always like facades and it's it's not like that so it's been it's been very it's been very human like it's been very a very nice and and pure um pure thing to to be a part of thank you yeah it makes me so happy so thank you hannah for for having this conversation with me i'm sure that it will help so many people out there who are just wondering like what would it be to actually do this work um were you were you yeah, yeah. afraid of hypnosis before like before we did the first session? Well, um, I wouldn't say afraid, but I, haven't, I hadn't done it before. So I was, of course, like um, curious about how will this work? What, it, what will it take from me? What's going to happen and all of that. But also as I had committed towards myself that I'm doing this now and then I'm doing it open-minded, I'm doing it like... I, I'm gonna put myself out there and try that's the least I can do for myself if I don't try then I can just give up right so I was just um more curious uh, towards the hypnosis, hypnosis sessions than than afraid I would say because I also trusted you I mean if I wouldn't have had trusted you I don't think that I would have done this because once again that's a super naked situation to be in uh because that's your, your inner, inner things coming out. Mm -hmm. So if I wouldn't trust you, then I wouldn't have done it. And definitely not four times. And I would <laughs> stop after the first time. I mean, if I've done it for quite a few times, then it shows that, that this is something that I enjoyed and had given me something back. Mm -hmm. And how, how was it to actually be in a hypnosis session when you, when you first experienced it? Yeah, it's been it's been different from different times, of course, but it's been so powerful. I I was not expecting that. Um, I thought that I was gonna be like unconscious or not remember anything, but I was. I'm there. I mean, during the hypnosis session, it's just that I'm I'm not really aware of the surroundings, but I'm super aware of what's going on. So it has been super emotional. I remember that we once we actually just hung up and you said like take your time and i was like 
whoa it's like putting your head into a can and you see all these cool things like in a movie and you take it out and you go like wow wow what was that i just need to sort this out it's so many things going on it's so many pictures so many feelings i mean i've been crying i've been laughing i've been shivering i've been because you just let things uh, flow in you so it's been super intense and super super cool yeah and then after each session session you have received a recording right an audio that yeah. you have been listening to have that been helpful for you very it's been like my my little like comfort blankets uh, i've been listening to them in various intensive intensities like sometimes once a day for for weeks sometimes it's just now and then sometimes two times per day so it's it has varied a lot but it's always very comfortable to to actually plug that in and it also feels very nice to give that to myself because it's a moment these recordings that we have done, they might vary, but they were between 20 to 30 minutes. And to give that time for my body and my soul to actually just shut everything off. And I tell people, you do not disturb me now because this is me time. To give that to me and just boost Johanna <laughs> with all that uh, from the recordings. It's also very, very nice to, to feel like you're feeding yourself uh in a very beautiful way yeah amazing amazing and for if um you who are watching this right now are in the fertility group then you also have um i just uh, put a fertility recording into that group so at least you will know exactly what johanna is describing about a recording so it's different when we do it of course in a private session because then then i make a private uh, audio recording depending on all the stuff that came up during the session um so yeah thank you so much uh i, I wish you were here now so we could just <laughs> hug you like we have never met like we have seen each other in city one time or i saw you like you were busy yeah. because you were kind of running a marathon so, <laughs> uh, so we crossed each other in reality but we never like actually talked in in physical life we have only met over computer and that's just awesome as well to be able yeah. to do this transformation from your own home not having to go to somebody's office or clinic you can do it from your couch or from your bed yeah it's that's uh, that has been great uh, side note i can never pass that point without thinking about you now i was like here was where linda saw me <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah but it's it's been so weird since we're in the same city and as you said you caught crossed my path and I didn't even see you because I was busy talking about something but it's uh, yeah it's it's in this couch I'm sitting now that we have done the hypnosis session and and it's it's also very nice to just be able to to cry your house out if you want to or uh you don't have to care about going to on the metro with mascara down their cheeks or whatever you can just be, take it easy in the couch afterward and collect yourself and your thoughts so it's been uh, that has also been super great yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely love that for myself as well. I would never consider to go to. Uh, so when I'm asking my colleagues to help me out to do a session, I, I would never want to go to anybody. Like, okay, we're in different countries, but if they were in the same country, like I would prefer to do it online because of the comfort that, as you say, you can just let all the emotions out and just be in the comfort of your own home. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> nice yeah so thank you so much i said like we will go for a maximum 40 minutes and it's like 39 minutes now so <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> that went fast <laughs> thank you so truly much and um we can i will pause the recording so i will say bye on the recording and <laughs> bye <laughs>